This is our Noel and baby Hal, and so this is a uh, one of our higher end mannequins. It has a lot of uh, technical components to her. This scenario that we ran today, we have a, a patient who was coming in who uh, had an abruption. So basically, she had the placenta that was tearing away uh, from in, in the abdomen where where it normally would be secured. And so our risk there is if that completely tears away, we have an infant that is not getting any blood supply, and that was the reason for the infant needing resuscitation. No heart rate. No heart rate. No heart rate. No heart rate. Okay. Let's go to oxygen. I got an IV kit. Can I come around and do chest compressions? Are you ready? Ready. Ready. And one, two, and three, and three. This is one of our in situ simulations, meaning we actually bring the, the mannequin to the environment of the staff. And that's one thing that we're really hoping to do more of this year. Our goal with this scenario is largely to improve communication between labor and delivery, emergency room, and the newborn ICU, which are the three departments that respond to this type of an event. Let's move into the one of the biggest challenges with any type of simulation is getting past the fact that this isn't a real patient. And so a lot of times we will add, as, as you might have noticed, um, we add blood. Uh, we try to add, uh, just engage any of the senses, we try to add any sound that we can. We, we have a realistic voice that's talking for her. Uh, so any of the, the senses, medicine is such a sensory profession and we rely so heavily on what we see, touch, smell, hear, that the more of those pieces that we can pull into a scenario, the more realistic it becomes. And it's it's very easy to forget that you're working with the mannequin. Okay, team, let's stop. We'll, we'll head back in the brief.